This is a recovery Gulf Coast box turtle number 24. It's a little guy here. It's not that old. And we identified it by measuring the mass and the dome height and the length and the width. And then also I've got some notches on here that were put on a couple months ago. That was instrumental in finding which one is the which. The preliminary data here, what I do is I take and mark it down on a card. And then I go through and compare all the different uh, ones I've recorded here, which are 29 different ones in this uh, urban area here near the house. And since this is uh, dome height is 56 millimeters, I can go through the list. It could be number 26, it could be number 52, 23, 22, 54. You just go through the whole list of, of, for recovering to make sure it's uh, not a new entry. Then I compare all these to some features I've marked down in the book. So just by knowing this is 56 millimeters, I can rule out that the thing hasn't gotten smaller. So the dome height is probably the most uh, easiest thing to call out. Uh, with ones that can't be because the length uh, it can get chewed on and reduced. The width is probably the second thing. Uh, the length tends to, if it's been really attacked, it can be five to ten millimeters less. So on these entries here, I looked at number 19, 22, 23, 24, and 26, and then went through and looked at the length and width and things like that and here's another thing as you can tell the AL to D ratio is 2.18 and I can just go look over here and see that there's one 2.17 2.1 whatever so it's close to number 24 went through and looked at 24 here and boom there's the two notches which is different than the other ones. This one's fairly timid. And then it's got some new, looks like it's been chewed on by a dog or something like that. A number of rings and stuff on here. Um, every year, or two or three times a year, you get more rings, but it's very not really proportional to the number of years. I think it's more of an urban legend. So maybe with some of these studies I'll kind of figure out what's what. That's what the top view looks like. There is an undercut slightly here. But when they're this young, it's kind of hard to tell if it's male or female. That's number 24. And if you look here very closely, you can see a 2 there. And that's probably a 4. I think I put a, just a little bit of marker on there. I prefer not to do that either. There's marks along here generally that's uh, tempted to mating. That's why it's gets scratched up on there. Also, when this crawls underneath things, it tends to get scratched up. The females have to t tend to have a high dome height to the width. So, not always, but go through here. This is dome height versus the length get a kind of a scatter plot this is each individual one 
this is a recovery the year recovered versus the number so we'll go ahead and put some data in here I haven't always updated this that's about it this time of year you don't really see turtles as much because it's getting cooler so it might be this is the last one time I see that this year and you typically don't see the smaller turtles like this so I'm gonna go put this back where I found it shine the flashlight in there the disposition is also another key some of them are very aggressive some of them are very timid they don't like to be flipped upside down like this so. They also can poop on you, so you got to be careful. 